So this is the well screen. So this has got these slits run uh, that go across it into here. So it allows the water to go in, but not to let the sediment go into here. So there's fine ones. They make them in different so slot sizes for the different geology. So since we're in a very fine grain material here, these are very fine slits. And you can see that they go all the way around, but then there's a solid part into there to maintain the integrity of the, of the, the well screen. At the bottom, we put a cap and this cap doesn't allow the water to come into the bottom here. And then this is the point that's gonna be down at the bottom of the well that's inside of there. And then this is what's called a five foot section. They come in any section size you want. They have one foot, three foot, five foot, 10 feet, whatever you'd like, but we have five feet today. And then they screw on to the next piece. And then there's this O-ring here. We want to make sure that there's a tight fit between each section of the pipe here because we don't water we don't want water to get into these points here. We want water not to go there, so we have to make sure there's an O-ring on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in 10 foot or 10 feet of, of screen. So we're going to have two five foot sections, and then we're going to have a, a riser here. And this riser here is just solid PVC pipe. This one's 10 feet tall, as you can see, quite tall here. Um, <laughs> It's just solid PVC pipe. And then this is gonna screw onto the top of this, and this doesn't allow the water to go in here while the water can come in here, and so we can have a protection of that. And just to give you an idea of how far down we are, think about me, and then we have two more of these, so this is how deep we're going into the ground. So, okay. Now what we're gonna do is, these all have to go into the well. So we did a core hole. So that is the core hole. So the metal rods, which are each five foot tall, are into the ground. So there's four of them into the ground and it's opened up the soil all the way down, three and a quarter. These are two inch diameter wells. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower these down, screw in the next one, lower the next one down until they're sticking out right here. And then what we're gonna do is take this metal rod out around this leaving this into the well. Okay, so the next section is, I'm gonna lower this down hand over hand. Wait, that was, oh yeah, you're right, that was 10 foot. Okay. So we would do that 10 foot. So, so this is called the stick up. So this is sticking up above the ground, okay? The reason this has got some stick up to it compared to the 20 feet is that there's that bottom little part that's on the bottom yes. there. There's a little bit that's sticking up here. There's a little bit of difference. Thing. So what we're gonna do now is cut this, this what we call stick up off and then you'll see the next So what part. we can do is if you're having trouble like that, yeah. what would you do? What would I do? Yeah. Uh, I will measure and then... No, we could just move this out of the way. Uh, okay. Yeah, so what you can do is if you want to get underneath it, we could lift the... That's the foot up. So now you can reach underneath it and cut okay. straight. So now you can hold this. We're gonna have to do two cuts just because I know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. 
almost done. So these saws work, you know, really well if you grab it from the handle. Go over. Yeah, but this is fine. You can try. Nope. Otherwise, going over here and yeah, then standing over here. Yeah, you know, bend it back a little bit. There you go. It gets it unstuck. And we'll get you. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And then we measure that so that we know exactly how much we cut off. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we have to find the piece. It's over here on this side. So in a, in a drilling situation, you would have the geologist who is writing all the notes, taking all of the measurements, telling us where to do the installation and stuff like that. So Chrissy's doing all the measuring, telling us what, how deep we're doing and everything like that. And okay. we're the drill people, so. Okay. Yeah, that would be her normal, that would be her job. Okay. Yeah, I would normally never touch the actual probe. I would stand off to the side. And, say, and, then, the drill, and then the driller would bring me my cores. And then he would yeah. cut it open because I don't touch knives. And then I would. Yep. <laughs> And then I would log the soil. All right. Yeah. And then she would say, we're, because like, that's where she plotted it. I, I, we're doing all, yeah. So we're also showing off that. So this part here, what this, this does. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you can do the video next. Okay. It should be ready to go. And what this does is it's got the threads that are on the inside. See the threads that are on the inside. We're going to screw this onto that metal core onto there. And then this has got a lifter. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna grab all those metal things and it's gonna go from here and lift out that metal rod, leaving the white PVC pipe in the inside. Mm -hmm. So we screw this on the outside here. Screw that down better in a second. What is that button for? Well, this should make the engine go faster, but now it's not working. So I'll tell them that one's not working. Mm. Okay, so now what we do is this comes off like this. Alright. Okay. So you want to get down, uh, and you want you guys to get down here. Chrissy, you want to get down here? Yeah. So she can videotape. So hold this on. I'm going to go down all the way. Go a little bit more. Yep. Okay. So now that is connected onto the metal rod. And we're going to lift. Okay. Lift the left. Snug. off all the soil for us and we forgot to put it on beforehand. Don't do that and do this. <laughs> nice. Now we're gonna stop here and we're gonna check the well. Okay? Yeah. Because what's supposed to happen is this expendable tip right here supposed to stay in the ground so it's it's not connected to that dry that shoe that was on here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this is staying in the ground 
the metal rod that was around it should just have come right off and then leaving the well behind. But sometimes it doesn't, it needs a little like push down. So we're gonna check that right now. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it down a little bit. See how the well is right here, even though we pulled this out of the ground that far? That's not what's supposed to happen. So, this one right here. There it is. There it is. I just want to make sure that looks good. Okay, you want to hold on? give it a gentle push. Not too much to break the PVC pipe, but just enough to kind of push it down. You're going to push the well back down. Uh -huh. into the hole. Yeah. So if it was a sand, a lot of times because it would just be easy, the, the core would just that would pop off and the well would stay. But because we have so much clay in there, the clay is just like holding on to the tip and it's like, no, I don't want to go. And so now we're pushing it off and we're just going to kind of gently push the well back in. We've just pushed off that tip and pushed that well. So now we're going to move this out of the way. Take off our little thing here. And then if you can look down inside of there, you went down a little bit. You can see that it's now down in there. We're going to have to cut again because it's just the way it is. So I'm going to lower this down again. go up any further and the seam between the pieces will be right at the edge of the ground. And then what we should be able to do is, it's going to be a little bit of, this is where we're going to need some help. We have to lift this off that what we call stick up, which is the amount of PVC pipe built from the ground that comes up. Okay, so now we've hit this point. thing out of the way and you'll be able to see the seam down here and then we can unscrew this. You ready? Okay. So now the, the, the seam is down there. We've got to get this out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up the foot and we're going to extend back out of the way. So now we have a clear shot straight up and down. PVC pipe that we're going to put into the ground in order to be able to look at the groundwater. 
So groundwater, you guys got that in class already, is the water that's under the ground. And so what we're going to be doing is we're installing... We have the, ex the extruder comes out because there's a leak in the hydraulic line and stuff. You come over here and you turn on the secondary hydraulics, okay? Then you come over here, you turn it on so that there's some hydraulic fluid, and then you push this. This will have it go back in, or if you need to use it, you know how to use it, then you can tighten it up here. So the same thing happens again, and then you just, that's it, and then you turn off the secondary. So what we're gonna do now is what's called macro core. So what's gonna happen is as we take the driving shoe here, this will cut the soil. The soil will go up this hole. This will be in there and it'll drive the soil up inside of this plastic tube. And we're gonna have this inside of here. Like that. So when that goes into the ground, the soil will go up the center of it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then after we drive for four feet, we'll pull out that plastic tube. Then when we put another metal one, we will drive it down with that, that metal rod in the intersection. So you guys will see this. Good. Okay. Okay, so now you have the wiper down there, the cutting shoe, the rod. Now you're gonna put the, the macro core in the inside. So that's this core catcher, and it's got this metal end to the uh, top of it. Why do we have that metal end? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put what's called a bumper on here, and then we're gonna put this cap, like we did the last time, where it's, it doesn't have any threads, and it's gonna go on the outside here. So what's gonna do is when this hammers, it's going to push down on the inside of here, on this bumper and push them this one down at the same time then this is going to hit on here and hammer this into the ground okay so this is how this has to be constructed okay and then that's there that make sure everything is level so now what you're going to do is level it so you don't level the machine you, you make sure it's level and then you move the rod around until it is level so now that the rod is level in both directions, this way and that way, so it's both sides? Yeah, both sides. That one looks good. That one looks good. Okay. So now, when you move it out of the way, you've got both of them driven into the ground. Now, how are we going to get that middle core out? We want to get that out. We're going to screw that on there. The middle one, yeah. Right down. Okay, now lift out that middle part. Aha! Yay! Yes, yeah, soil! Yeah. Yay! And now that is our one to four foot push. So this is the one to four foot. It didn't fill the whole entire four feet because of compression. At this end, you notice this right here? That's called a core catcher. And the reason there's a core catcher here is so that if this was like sand and stuff, it wouldn't be able to fall out the bottom so you don't lose your core in here, okay? So you're gonna label this zero to four feet, whatever site our supervisor is calling this site today's date and you're gonna put duct tape on this end and then on this end you're gonna take off this metal piece right here from here and then you're gonna put duct tape on this end and you always know the base of it has got that core catcher and the top has this hole on the top so you know which way is up or you can label which one is up so you don't get them back okay so for the next four feet you put that on correct Good. Now we've got four extra feet. Well, this is only four feet tall, right? So now we connect to the top of this one, one of those short rods. So take this and connect one of the short rods onto it. Okay. This 
this is why I keep out here how many I need. So if I have extra here, then I might not know how many far far down I am. So right now, you, we, we, have, <laughs> we have two and four and one over there. They should be all at the same numbers because otherwise you will not keep track. Okay. <laughs> so what's the issue? That is title. It's not, that, that's not really the problem. How are you gonna get that, that rod in? Ah, the, the, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what do you gotta do? Bike. Yep, so you lift up the foot foot up so you don't want to drag it on the ground. Perfect. Then you want to extend it back. Back is. Yeah, good. Perfect. Okay, then you want to lower that down the hole hand over hand. This is where it gets difficult. So you might have to not connect them ahead of time. So what you might want to do next time is lower it down to a certain point and then have somebody add on the next rod. But I want you guys to see what how it could be Whoa, all over the place. Okay, and then you should lower that down. You should be able to let go. Let go? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Ah, perfect. Okay, now what do you put on there? Yep, the bumper. And then that, yep, that one, yes. Put that on there. Okay, then move it back and then do the next four foot push. So the first thing you want to do is take off that end. So tighten this up all the way till it's really tight on there. Okay, then go back and forth. Go back and forth. this one on just oh, to have it always ready. So take that off. Yep. At the end without the core catcher, push that in with the threaded side into and there. Yep. And then I just use the end of that. Yep. Oh, so to put, so we use the wench here help pull out the core so we just wench it up yep. out of our way the wench is really nice to use on these small cores to pull them out we can hook that white thing to the top and it helps to pull them out and then you attach this to the outside this cap here cap and then you put the, the uh, wiper thing down at the bottom remember under the foot and then you attach that onto this and bring that wench down and that part so you're going to lower that down yep now also the mass so what you want to do at the same time is bring the mass down and bring the wench up ah the wench. Okay. yep so you're bringing the wench there you go and the mass down and the wench up
Yep. And then make the length all the way up. Perfect. That's good. Uh, all the way. So it's. There we go. Cool. Okay. Now make sure there's nothing on the top there. I've done this a million times. Make sure there's nothing on the top of that little, this right here. You might not be able to, you know. Okay. Make sure you do that first. Now you want to extend it all the way out. Okay, now you want to fold it. And you're going to watch while you're folding that you're not going to hit anything right there. And you're going to make sure these wires right here, these, these pipes right here, don't get uh, kinked into it. So you might just need to move them out of the way a little bit. Okay? Should I keep going? Keep going. Yeah. Is, it, is it clear? Now, if it's not going to clear, what you have to do is lower this down. So how do you make it go down? Uh, extend, hold, extend. The foot. Foot. Foot down. See, notice what happens? Uh, yeah. So the yeah. foot comes down. That moves that out of the way. Okay, now you can continue folding. And then if you need to move it out of the way, you're hitting the pipes up there. So you want to move. Okay. And you can also have the foot go down a little bit more. Yeah. And that's as far as it goes. Okay, now continue folding. Make sure those wire, those pipes are tubings out of the way. And then have somebody check this side to make sure you're nice and clear. Okay, now foot in. Yep, keep going until it stops. Have somebody checking to make sure everything's not gonna hit anything. Extend in. Push it in. Okay, then jump up on the top and turn the key off. Perfect. And leave the key in there. Leave the key in there and then record the uh, number of hours that are on there.